welcome back to my channel she plans she budgets in today's video we'll be going over my monthly budget so let's get started all right so i'm opening up here to my calendar spread we did set this up together in my last video um so now we're just going to go ahead and put my monthly budget spread together and i'll be using um my stickers i made for myself I did mention in my last video that I don't currently sell any stickers. I, I just make them for fun for myself and also to save money. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down my stickers. And we'll be capturing all the bills that's listed here on my calendar view. All right. And then here is my expense log that we also set up in my last video. And then I'm going to place my monthly budget right here on the right hand side. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some washi and uh, go ahead and lay down the base of this spread and then I'll be right back. All right, so I have my monthly budget spread set up. Um, here is the leftover washi that I will be saving for my next spread in my next video. So stay tuned for that, which will be uh, my sinking funds and savings tracker update. And we can just go ahead and Put the monthly budget sticker down together as well as the deco and then get started with the numbers and i just really love how this kit came out the colors are so vibrant and like the classic colors that's what i was going for and then also with this kit um you know because i'm new to making stickers and like i said i'm not currently sell selling them you will notice some mistakes in these. And, you know, I think it'll be best if I continue to practice before I open up a shop. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that in case you see any oopsies. Um, so for the rest of the deco, I'm gonna just put the money bag right here by the income section the cash envelopes by the cash envelope section even though i am a cash cashless but budgeter but you know you get what i <laughs> what i mean by that i'm gonna put the piggy bank in the little coin by the miscellaneous section that was a little crooked but that's okay and i'll have the calculator by the breakdown section all right, so this sheet is complete. All right, so starting with the income portion, um, as I mentioned in my last video, I uh, basically budget one month ahead now. So we have a certain amount that we saved the previous month. So like for instance, our November paychecks, we saved a certain amount to fund the month of December. So um, instead of like, paycheck one or two, I'm just going to put down uh, one month ahead, I think I was calling it. And um, if you hear any noise in the background, I do have my dishwasher going, so I'm sorry if you hear that. Um, and then for the date, we just, you know, start our budget fresh on the first of the month. And our monthly budget right now is $4,925 for the entire month. And starting the month in December, I did decide to add some additional funds. And I'm going to just call that other and skip the date. Um, it's actually coming from um, my paycheck and it's going to be for a hundred and eight dollars even and that's because um, you'll see in a moment but one of the bills that used to be on that I used to include was for cell phones um, but over the course of the last 18 months since I last filmed my boyfriend and I have switched our, our previous phone providers to Mint Mobile and because we're with Mint Mobile, they do charge the entire year up front. So we just save that in, for, in uh, sinking funds. 
and we haven't like been focusing on it in the last several months and now that i like realized oh it's coming up in april of next year we need to start putting some additional funds towards um that so that's why this 108 is coming out in additional as an additional um for this month because we didn't factor it in last month when we saved for our one month ahead so i'm not sure if i'll just save for it going forward like so that this monthly one, one month ahead will just be you know higher or i might just keep doing it like this um the reason being because i would have to save for this twice to like to cover it for december and also to save it towards january if you get what i mean and i don't really want to sacrifice an additional 108 dollars just because we do have um another savings going on right now and you'll see that in my next video so i don't think i want to save 216 so i might just keep doing it like this just so we could just you know save the 108 if all that makes sense hopefully but we can just total that up so 49.25 plus 108 equals five thousand and thirty three dollars that we will be working with this month and so for the bill section the first one you already guessed it is rent and that fixed amount is two thousand two hundred and fifty nine dollars after that is water bill and we budget a hundred twenty five dollars and now I did mention in my last video that these two are uh, grouped together when we do go ahead and make our payment online um, for rent and water. But I do like to separate them out on the monthly budget view just so I can, um, you know, see clearly what the actual water bill was by itself instead of having it like plus the twenty two fifty nine. I know I can see the difference that way as well, but I just want to see like we budget one twenty five. The actual was you know whatever it is and i just want to see it separately so rent water and then next is renter's insurance and these are the bills the same bills that we laid out in my calendar view so i'm just going in the order of that for renter's insurance we're just going to budget ten dollars um next is um i like to group my subscriptions so netflix amazon itunes the rapid api and the dictionary i like to group those all together so i'm just going to call all of those subscriptions and we'll that in total that will be 48 dollars and then after that i have the internet bill and we um budget $61 for this one then I have my dance membership and that is fixed at $89 and then the last bill of the month is for electricity and we budget $150 for that and hopefully it will be less um this last uh box here I like to have a category called buffer for two reasons one to make this total bill number a nice even number just so it's easier easier for me to remember how much um, bill money I need a month and then two um, in case any of the variable variable bills um, go up so like for instance I think since we've been living here for like you know over a year I think the electricity bill went over 150 one time and it didn't go over by a lot but the buffer money came in handy because we just you know pulled it from this category and then it also um because the other variable variable uh, <laughs> the other variable bills usually comes lower the other the only other bill that sometimes we have to worry about is the water bill but i want to say for the last good portion of this year it's been under the 125 amount i just haven't changed it in case that goes back up um but yeah between electricity and water we just budget those amounts every month and just you know hope they stay under 
but the electric went over once so this buffer comes into handy and then whatever money is left over from this category the bills section it will just fund something else that may need to be taken care of and the other problem is usually cash envelopes because those are our daily expenses and we'll go over those in just one second um i'm pretty sure this number is eight dollars but we will do the math to double check because this should be um 27.50 so 22.59 plus 125 plus 10 plus 48 plus 61 plus 89 plus 150 plus 8 yes 2750 dollars so that is the magic number for our monthly bills Okay, and then next for my cash envelopes, I have six categories. The first being um, gasoline. And we're actually lowering this amount this month. We normally budget 250, but this month we're gonna do 200 because we've been under 250 for the last few months. So we're just gonna go ahead and lower that down. But we will um, add that $50 in groceries because groceries is always a little extra so for groceries we normally do 800 but this month we'll do 850 and then next I have household and for this we budget $200 a month and this category is almost like not a catch-all but if we're ever like short on groceries we'll just pull from the household fund because I don't think I ever really spend the full $200 purely on household items like toilet paper, paper towels, foil pans, laundry detergent. That's the type of stuff I buy with this category because um, I normally buy groceries and household items at the same time. Um, so that's why like if I'm ever short on groceries, it will just come out of household. But you guys will see that in my weekly check-ins. And then next for personal spending... And this is just for me. Um, my boyfriend takes care of his personal spending out of his paychecks. So for personal spending for me, I just give myself $100 a month. And then for eating out, we're going to budget the same amount, $100. And lastly is entertainment. And like I mentioned in my last video, entertainment is for um, any activities my boyfriend and I want to do, like date nights, like if we want to go to the movies, if we want to go to any festivals or anything that like not necessarily food related, because for food, we'll just uh, take that out of eating out, but entertainment will cover like non-food entertainment stuff. And for this month, we're also budgeting $100. Um, one thing I know we definitely going to is something called the Trail of Lights. It's like a Christmas themed, um, not a festival, but like something that we can do <laughs> to celebrate the holidays. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. That usually doesn't cost a whole lot. I believe last year was like nine bucks a person. So that's really, really nice to go see that. Um, put a comment down below if you're doing any festivities for the holidays um if you're into the holidays and also comment down below if you believe in a christmas season and not just a christmas day so for the christmas season i believe the christmas season starts from november 1st through january 7th a whole week after new year's so i have my tree up christmas lights on from November 1st through January 7th. I mean, I turn the lights off at night, but for that last week from um, New Year's through the 7th, I keep the lights on 24 seven as like a tradition. But comment down below if you believe in the Christmas season and what are the dates that you start your Christmas season. All right, so let's total this section for cash envelopes. We have 200 plus 850 plus 200 plus 100 plus 100 and plus 100 again 
So that totals $1,550. So this is our monthly budget for cash envelopes this month and hopefully we will um, stay within budget. Okay, so next is miscellaneous. For miscellaneous, this is where I put down my sinking funds. And I will have a separate video, um, as mentioned earlier, on my sinking funds, breaking down each category and the amounts that's, that's currently in the category and what I'll be adding into each category this month. But for budget, we will be sending $733 to this and um, again, that's why I wanted to add the additional $108 because I do need to save up for um, Mint Mobile. Uh, so after that, I also put down in this category unbudgeted in case we have any unbudgeted expenses, but we don't plan for it. So we're just gonna cross that out. And then I just have two extra spaces in case anything else come out throughout the month that doesn't fit any of these other categories. Um, so this total of this section will be $733. All right, so for the breakdown, we'll have the income section, bills, cash envelopes, or cash list envelopes, and miscellaneous. So income wise, that will be $5,033. Bills, we will be subtracting $2,750. Cash, cash envelopes, we will subtract $1,550. And for miscellaneous, we will subtract $733. So all of this should cancel out, but let's just double check. All right, so zero dollars because we are zero base budgeters. And um, again, um, in my budget results or throughout the month when I show like updates to all of the different spreads we'll lay out together, I will give you guys um, like the plan of what to do with any extra money because usually bills do come under because of mainly because of water and, and electricity has reduced because you know during the summertime it is usually higher and then um winter time is a little less so well it depends <laughs> um so we'll just we'll see what we have going on throughout this month to see where we want to apply any additional funds to if anywhere and then yeah that's pretty much it for this video so i want to thank you all so much for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all next time bye